Hello everyone, welcome to weekly SIGOF scaling meeting for Monday 22nd of July 2024. Uh, we don't currently have anything on the agenda beyond this test grid. Um, we've still got some flaky on both HK and BPA, as well as some failing and failing against cluster auto scaler. Uh, so I don't think any change against last week. Uh, I don't know if you've got any updates on your side, Marco or Ray. Um, so I don't have an update for like fixing the admission controller tests. I guess this is the dilemma between we have our end-to-end -end tests run from current master and our install instructions are also sourced from current master. So like ideally, I guess the install script that we recommend people to use and like quickly install VPA should first check out attack and not like pick all the resources from master. Um, so at least for the one test in the vision controller that has been failing consistently, that would be the fix, right? Um, yeah, and probably that's what the script should be doing. Yeah, we also saw this in other places, right? At a point where we changed the CRDs, we had a similar issue that people were getting master CRDs instead of the released ones. Yes. Also not what they want. And ideally, people don't use that script uh, on their production systems, but uh, <laughs> uh, an ideal world is different than the world we currently have. So. Yeah. I think you've got that covered pretty well, Marco, in a bug somewhere that we can probably link. Or I think we maybe linked it last week. Uh, yeah, we linked it last week. Right. And then, um, Guy, I took a look at the HPA test, and it's it's like a single flake in one test from like a week ago. So they're actually looking pretty good. Okay. Sweet. Awesome. Thanks. Cool. Uh, that's all we have on the agenda. Is there anything else anyone wants to raise this week? Um, yeah, I think at some point in time we should think about uh, cutting another VPA release. I think also like people have been asking for this. Um, and I talked to Jack a bit more about like the things that other people he knows uh, are doing differently with like more CI support and so on. And he referred me to the cluster API team we have like also already like a very extensive documentation on how they do it. They have like a rotating set of people being responsible for the next release, very similar to what Kubernetes itself might be doing. And the idea is that you can trigger a new release candidate by doing a PR to their change log directory for the next version. Right. So if you do a, if you do submit a change log file uh, for version 1.3, like CI will go in and cut a release candidate for 1.3, uh, build some images and put them somewhere. Uh, and only if like additional people do manual things, uh, this image can actually get promoted to the official repositories. But at least like building the image and cutting the release candidate would be an automated automated thing. Yeah, and they also have a way to like manage the permissions by controlling who's allowed to do PRs to uh, to that file, right? And so um, so yeah, there would be a way on, like if you want to go down that road, there would be a way to maybe look at this or look at other options on how to how to get some more automation in place here. 
yeah, it's not. Uh, it's not. Um, I've not looked at um, cluster API myself, but I did. I did know that they had some fairly nice release um, automation, and um, definitely sounds interesting to me. It would also incentivize us. Well, the CA like we don't. The change log is in the release notes rather than change, uh, change log file itself. So um, I know that some people prefer one over the other, um, but I think I don't see any reason we couldn't move to change log and having that as the approach. Yeah, I guess nothing prevents you from having uh, an automated job that copies the stuff that you have in the change log file to the GitHub yeah. release metadata, right? So. To, to be quite frank, it would probably it would almost certainly be easier than the current process because currently it's <laughs> it's automated, just pulled out of the 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 R titles, which I'm sure we all know are not not always the uh, easiest to under, like map back to the actual feature that's been implemented. Yeah, and for changing that process, uh, we don't even have to do it at the same time for like CA and VPA, right? Yeah. We can just pick one component. Uh try if that's what we what we want and then see if that works out for us yeah, yeah. but i guess guy we would need uh you or uh magic in there as you have permissions for like the image part right at least i don't i don't have any permissions there uh, yeah that's cool. That's why I'd need to have a bit of a dig into it of where they're publishing those images, because at the moment the images, the permissions to publish to the staging repos are tied to like people actually authenticating against um, Google Cloud CLI. Um, so I, I, if you've got some links um, yeah, uh, in I terms can, of how they set it up, feel free to fire it across me, and I can, I can figure out, try and figure out how we would set up the the permissions, etc. Yeah, I mean, we can also schedule like a separate thing for this and um, I can send around some pre-reads, whatever I, I got from Jack, and then we can like talk about this mm -hmm. some more. Yeah. Sure, yeah, I'd, I'd be up for that. Okay, cool. I guess one last quick thing for me as well. Um, I've, I've pinged some, some people on Slack, but uh, currently have Jack uh, signed up to do the, deliver the SIG talk at KubeCon NA. Um, if anyone else is interested in actually speaking, try to make it. I know that a couple of people on this call can't um, then get in touch, but otherwise I'll be submitting the talk uh, submission this evening, UK time. Awesome. Uh, if there's nothing else in that case. Yeah, hi guys. I, yeah, hi guys. I need hey. your comment on this issue. Like I just pasted on this chat one. Like there is no way to make a cube version same as the image or tag version. Uh, so if uh, because we have that uh, chart release cycle is uh, different than the cluster autoscaler things. So if there is no way, so we can close this issue. If you, if you have any workaround for this one, you can tell me. That will be a great help because. Uh, I will have a look over it. I vaguely remember looking at this in the past, but I can't yeah. remember. Because, yeah. Because, I, I, because, I because the hand chart, the chart version we, for the cluster of scalar, we release every, for even, for any small bug or small feature, we uh, make a new chart version. So every time make a image or tag version different than the cube version is <laughs> not possible in this case or not feasible. So if we can work around this, like we image or tag tag version explicitly, we can define it. But in the initially, you can say no for it one. So just just want to know if there is no way so we can close this issue. If there is no way to do that, yeah. Because we, um, I, I think there are there's a number of alternative ways to do it, um, but I think all there, there's trade offs in them. Um, and yeah. I, 
uh, I don't know what way um, what way uh, most users would prefer. I know what my preference is, but I don't want to enforce that on people or users. Um, okay, okay, I'll I'll have a look at it and um, comment on yeah. it uh, probably sometime yeah. this week. But... Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. No. thank you so much. Yes. Uh, there is, if that's all, uh, thanks very much, everyone, for attending. <laughs> See you <all> next <laughs> week. Bye. Bye.